Welcome everyone. I have another 12 by 12 layout for you and I will be using the papers from Cordia Creations and they are from the Sweeping Plains collection, a very Australiana themed papers and they are from Antivirus Scrap and Craft and I will leave a link to Antivirus Scrap and Craft in the description below. So I started off by obviously picking my photo and then I saw this gorgeous paper. It's paper number two from the collection. And I loved the Waratahs and I thought how I want to use it and that's going to be my border around my photo and I have no idea beyond that what I'm going to do except that as you can see I started doing a lot of fussy cutting and I'm using one of my new tools that I bought a couple of weeks ago at Officeworks and I tell you I just love it and for someone like me that loves her fussy cutting this tool has been a godsend. And the fussy cutting is finished. I must admit it did take me quite a bit of time, but I do love the end result. So as you can see, all that fussy cutting, I actually did glue everything down to paper number 10. And I picked that paper number 10 because I just loved the sort of reddish rusty color behind it. And I thought it contrasted beautifully with my photo. And then I thought, what am I gonna do with my photo? So of course I'm going to match it because that seems to be my MO. And I'm just going to be using the scrap piece of paper that was left over from paper number two, the inside of it. I just thought, well, might as well utilize my scraps while I'm at it. And I'm, of course, using my favorite tool, my Perfect Layers Ruler, which I absolutely love because I like to have all my edges exactly the same. I'm a little bit anal like that. And there's my photo all completely matted. I'm just going to tuck it in underneath there and then decide what I'm going to do. I went looking through my stash and then in my stash there, I found this frame and I thought, oh, I quite like that hanging off the edge, but it was the wrong colour and I oomed and armed and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to cut it because I don't want it going all around. So I get my trusty little Tim Holtz scissors, I snip it off, and then I start thinking, okay, that looks good, but what am I going to do next? I tried to use the remainder of it, but it just wasn't working for me. There was just a bit too much going on on the other side. And this ephemera here, that is also part of the Sweeping Plains collection. So this is the ephemera pack, and it is called the Sweeping Plains Sweeping Plains ephemera packet. And I loved that little clock there. So I thought, yes, I'm going to use that. I thought that the colours went lovely with it. And then the ephemera packs also got these two little stripes of strips of paper that look like woodwork or wood grain. Wood grain, that's the word I'm looking for. And I thought, oh, that looks nice there. So I got the second one and I thought, well, I'll, I'll balance it by putting it down below. And then I add the little, the clock on the, on the other opposite side. I just thought, oh, that looks, um, I quite like that. And that's very unusual for me because I don't usually use a lot of ephemera on my, on my layouts, but I quite like that. And then that other little frame came in quite handy there. And even though it's from a completely different collection and it was just, actually, I don't even think that was from a collection. I think it was just something I fussy cut out of a piece of paper that was just left as scraps. And I thought, oh, I'll keep the frame. So the frame was just a little bit on the wrong side. I thought it was more gray than brown and I wanted to add tones of brown. So I got out my Distress Oxides and this is Vintage Photo. It's one of my favorite colors and I'm just using my little blending tool just to add a bit of color to it. And I absolutely loved how it looked when I put it back onto my layout. And of course, I just did glue everything off off screen so that way my videos are as short as possible oh and now i've made a lot of myself this here on this one here i actually show you gluing it down sorry about that but this layout did come together very very quickly the only thing that took a lot of time was all that fussy cutting but after the fussy cutting everything just came together quite quickly and then I had to think about the title. So the title, I decided to call it And So the Adventure Begins because obviously my son was growing up, he had his first bike and it was more or less his adventures on the bike but my adventure as a mother and all the scary things that happen after it. So this is it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, bye everybody.